Hello everyone and welcome to First 20 here on Steven Plays. My name is Steven George, I play video games, and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today we are taking a look at Hylix, which is... Well, it's going to be something, let's just say that. This was sent to me by uh, one of our uh, patrons, Jay Meepler. Um, and this is a game I've actually known about for quite some time, and I've always been real curious about. And, and I can't tell from afar whether I would like or hate Hylix. Um, it's kind of a piece of abstract art, in a way. Um, it was developed and published by Mason Lindroth, and this is actually a few years old at this point. It's an RPG Maker game that is kind of claymation, I guess, in a, in a way? I I know very little about the game, but I've seen it played, and it's bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. So if you're willing to join me on a bizarre trip today, um, then let's get started. My god. Oh, I'm controlling. Oh. So yes, this is an RPG Maker game. A vessel crudely bathers the microcosms, the people falsify below a domicile. It is a homunc homunculus below a government. It is a pain, beside behavior. Meanwhile, Gibby, King of the Moon, levitates a text amidst the furnace product. Thus your story begins. What? What? And it says Act 1. I have moved the lever. Meow. Dear God. So, again, if, if you're familiar with, you know, traditional RPG maker fare, uh, we can press escape and, and go into our menu. Now the whole lot's been changed. Obviously, it's been skinned to be a little weirder. Our HP is called Flesh. Our magic power is called Will. We're controlling Wayne. We get zero dollars. Things, instruments, outfit, key things, powers. Wayne knows hypno sigils. Probably causes enemies to fall asleep. Probably. Good to know. Get dressed. Change. Optimize. Clear. So we've got a pistol. There's no bullets, though. Deflector, crown, garb, <laughs> accoutrement. Mightiness, texture, jollity, cooking, guts, philology. Dossier. Wayne is feeling youthful. Well, thank God for that. We can also save our game, which we just did. Uh, auto dash will dash. Instant text normal. Battle animations show. And the music's also a little bizarre as well. I'm adjusting the crystal. I don't know what that means. And I don't know if I'm supposed to know what it means. Learned ablative holo pleather. Wait, did I learn an ability? I did. Guards and heals 30% of flesh. My god. So again, this is... It's like a strange work of art. It's your life savings. You got 53 bucks. Meow. It's so... Off-putting. Honestly, like it really is like it, it. I think that's one of the reasons why whenever I've seen gameplay of this game in the past, I, I didn't know if I would like it or hate it. And I even now playing it, I don't know how I feel. It's bizarre and I like that, but it's it's so uncomfortable. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Bzz, bzz. Warm burrito was found. Maybe you should bathe. Okay. Your flesh and will were restored. Toilet paper was found. So, I think I got items. Uh, warm burrito. Revives dead ally and restores 50% of flesh. Toilet paper. Can be worn as rudimentary body armor. Really? Garb. Toilet paper. Which will not increase my stats at all. But I can wear it. I'll wear it for... For the heck of it, sure. Also, that soundtrack. It's just noodling. On a guitar. Like, there's so many elements to dissect here. This is like... 
like clay that's been photographed and then run through some sort of photo filter to make it look <laughs> almost like like a Game Boy. And the music is so strange. Oh my god. Again, the best way I can describe this is uncomfortable. It makes me uncomfortable to play this. Chup, 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 chup. Trash can lid was found. Not what I was expecting. Uh, what the heck is a trash can lid? It's an outfit, of course it is. Mobilized in times of strife. Raises evasion rate. O okay, it's a deflector. Okay. That seems like it'd be helpful. You accidentally crushed it. <laughs> what? To the northeast is the hollowed city of Yek Hanarpon. May its feeling endure 1,000 years. I think I changed the track. Okay, well, have a have a good. And like the dialogue is written in such a way that it's uncomfortable also. Some sort of llama creature. Hey. Oh, I Well, okay, where am I? Okay, so there's an overworld also. I wasn't really done exploring, but I'll go over here and see what this is about. Do not touch the ambulance skulls, or you will die. Jesus, okay. To initiate warp, make contact with the central node. Unauthorized access is discouraged. Thank you for understanding. Digest their hope. He caress with her joyful ocean. The warp access is currently infested. The creatures fear the dotted red line and will not cross it. Enjoy your time in the warp access. It's like clay was put on top of action figures or something? I'm gonna save since I got all this sweet gear. Are these enemies? So we're in a battle. It's like Earthbound. Because I've, ha I've had a lot of people tell me that they, they would compare it a little bit to Earthbound. And yeah, it's got some of the weird weirdness of Earthbound, but it's not in any way connected to reality like Earthbound is. So it's, it's, yeah, okay, it's like Earthbound, sure, but it's like if Earthbound took LSD every day for a decade. Spiral polycyrate <laughs> A. Wayne attacks. A doom spiral. Even like the animations. Oh my god. Took 15 damage. Wayne is killed over. Wayne was slain. So I died. And I became a puddle. And my face melted off. Where the heck am I now? So, this is the afterlife. Feel free to crash on the couch. Take a nap. Amid the seasons laments the tooth, the mirror far beyond your apparel's extrudeth, below my weaponized mirth. Your flesh and will were restored. So that's interesting. Instead of kicking you out to game over screen, it actually doesn't, you know, like, quit your game. You, you just go into the screen. Any meat you found into flesh points. You have no meat to grind. So I guess they kind of presume you're going to be dead. That's a crystal that was similar to the one I found in my house. The executive balcony is down the stairs. Only those who have died three times are allowed there. You need to die two more times. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I was a little bummed when I died. I'm not bummed anymore. This is great. That just makes a terrifying noise. <gasps> you can build sandcastles on the beach. Try using the space bar. That's really cute. 
It's not necessary at all, but it's really cute. I think I can hear a TV set behind this wall. If I had dynamite, I could break through. You don't have any dynamite. Like, part of the game is I need to die, but I need to die with dynamite. So when, I'm re when I come into the afterlife, I'll have dynamite to help a guy break down a wall. Sure, that, that makes sense. Touch an active crystal to tether the portal. Okay, so I'm assuming... I touched that crystal, and now... Yeah. So they're warp points. You know, I was dead, Cat. You could show a little dug-gun appreciation. Well, I'll be a little more careful around those things. Uh, we North Acquired a vegetable. It's like, again, it just, everything is uncomfortable. But that's the point. So it's okay? <laughs> What's a vegetable do? I have 13 vegetables. It was 50% of flesh and removes negative status. I still have a warm burrito as well. I never even got the chance to try and heal myself in that battle before. I just, I just died. But it's nice to know that saving isn't like the most important thing. You just need to save before you quit. You don't have to worry about saving before battle because you're going to lose. Um because it, you're going to wind up in the afterlife. Not to mention, if you die a few more times, hey, get to see the executive suite or whatever. All right, so... Okay, well, that's a vehicle. Let's go up here. Yeah, Kennerpon, the hallowed city. The domicile, thanks to vacuum. That's behavior's forbidden homunculus. Their microcosm's prison doth calm, but convexity bungles a mandible. A head lies Mount Gurmaray. Beware of the wicked cone cultists. Like, there's a solid 40% of the dialogue. It doesn't really make any sense. And it's a little, it's a little upsetting, in a way. I was gonna, just gonna relax on the couch, but I guess I'm not doing that today. Welcome to Yek Anorpon, the hallowed city. I grow the insects. Whew. There's a stick of dynamite in the box. Of course you take it. Oh, well, now I have it for that guy. Next time I die. Frozen burritos can be effective projectiles. Feel safe when you walk outside. Okay. Maybe used as a projectile. Heat up in a microwave to create semi-edible food item. Juice box. Recover 75 will. Okay, so I want to, like, not use that dynamite, though, because I'm going to need that dynamite when I die. I can't believe I'm saying all these things. Microwave a frozen burrito? No. Fine. Dear God. Have you heard about our bleak cellophane? No, tell me all about it. Prevents blind status. Bad juju. Formed into a nugget for easy portability. 20% of where's normal attacks inflict poison status. Turbo tendons. They really went for the weirdness, like, on every single possible front. The knight, Pongorma, is said to be immune to the deadly touch of ambulant skulls. He resides on an island to the west, behind a sealed door. When fighting a flesh... a flesh stash, you must attack, then rest, and then guard, lest you suffer the creature's repost. Well, let's go this way. You can learn special abilities from the televisions which are scattered throughout this realm. All right, now I can teleport here. That could be helpful. Levitate his doom. Yeah, I'll try. I feel like this is his, this. It's like if Moonside was the entire game. It's like this person was really inspired by Moonside specifically. If you want to use the tub, it's going to be 25 bucks. Now I'm good. You stink. Juice box was found. Uh, that could be good. Okay, I spilled a garbage can, but it didn't really do anything for me. I think I can get through here. Pardon it out of mandibles, despite your rage, despite your spirit. Art is a fate season. Need an instrument for stabbing or bludgeoning? If so, you've come to the right place. What is it like to be a bat? All dirk and no play. Increases flesh by 30. 
weaponized utensil. Increases will by 50. Okay, um... I guess I should maybe buy a bat. I have a pistol. Maybe I should save my cash right now. I don't know what I'm supposed to be buying because everything is so bizarre. I have no idea. And like, did I even see all of the city? I'm not sure. It was a little confusing, and it's it's hard to tell what's going on. All right, let me um. I can't go here, so I guess I have to figure out at some point how to open that thing. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm gonna go back here. If I die, it's not the worst thing. I I do have dynamite. But maybe it would be in my best interest to, uh, I guess, maybe, like, not get into a battle. Access warp. Yep. Alright, I warped. <laughs> what on earth? Found a paper cup. <laughs> what? This, this makes my brain hurt. Access warp. Wait, hold on. I think I warped here and I have to go up. Now I'm in, like, another world. Is that an enemy? I don't know. No? I guess not. Jesus. Hello? Um, this vault is off limits. Please go away. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Looks like money. Like, there's a few things that are rooted in reality, but so much of it's just out there. And I think I think the, the problem with this game, and may, maybe why it hasn't caught on quite as, as well as it could have, is, is when things are so avant-garde, and they're so out there, I think a lot of people have a hard time appreciating it. Like, even, even for me, I'm like, mm, I, I don't know. Meow. So that thing is a cat. They're all cats. Visitors are rare. Is that... It's hot. Ouch. Did that hurt? No. I kind of expected it to hurt. Is this a stairway? It totally is. Let me go upstairs to the bed. Sleep? Yes. Will I regret sleeping? I don't know. The smoke of evening, flesh, and TVs rose like a mutant sustenance in the breeze. Okay, but do you have a TV? Because that's how I learn abilities. You don't have a TV. Your <laughs> your house is a is a rude mumble to me. I'm gonna try and get in the spirit of the game. If I could just find an amulet skull. I made it to the warp. So now I'm in like a condominium. Oh, your enemies. Oh Christ. Okay. Uh, what's my specials? Guards and heals 30%. Probably causes enemies to fall asleep. Man, yeah, let's try it. Hypnosigils. Didn't affect the one in the middle. Dark flame. 28 damage. That's not ideal. Um, let's go for the guard since the others are still sleeping. Dark flame. 28 damage. I'm literally gonna die again. Uh... Guards and heals 30% of flesh. 30%. Is it going to be too little too late? Maybe. Ablative hollow leather. You can still kill me in one go. That guy woke up. That's not good. Oh god. Oh god. Maybe I should have just ran. I still haven't... I s There's a calibration. The mightiness went up. That's going to kill me. Well, then. Hmm. Again, not such a bad thing, because I really want to find out what that dynamite does, but, uh... Yikes. Man. And I can warp quickly, so that's... That's good, but the game seems really difficult. I think it's because it doesn't make it very clear where you're supposed to go. Alright, buddy. If I had dynamite... Now you do. I'll let you check it out first. Are you guys enemies? I don't even know anymore. Do I have to fight enemies in the afterlife? Who knows? Okay, check this out. 
learned calibration. So that's actually what did me in. Or, well, it, it caused the mightiness to go up. I think that's what that ability does. Powers. Calibration. Temporarily increase mightiness. Well, that's good. Thanks again for the explosives. Huh. It's an interesting mechanic. Like, for all of the weirdness, there's some interesting stuff going on. So, for example, you earn your abilities by watching television. Um, dying just takes you to a place where you know, you... Oh god, it actually changed. Dear god. Uh, you know, dying is actually not a bad thing. It takes you to a place where you can warp throughout the world, which is kind of nice. Okay. Alright. Listen. We're at time. But dar darn it, I am... <laughs> I, I'm real interested. I'm real interested in, uh dying one more time. So, I'm just going to jump ahead. I'm going to get myself killed, because I want to see this executive balcony before we end this first 20. Alright, so I died. Um, literally, these guys are, like, impossibly difficult to beat. You must not be encouraged to fight these and just run away. Either way, I died. But that's great, because now I get to find out. <laughs> I get to learn about this executive balcony thing. Hi, I'm back. I die a lot. The executive balcony only was dubbed. Uh, I guess you qualify. Good job. You may proceed. Oh, I can walk past it now. Okay. Squish, squish. Bestial axe was found. A reservoir of clear liquid atop a pedestal. It's some kind of machine from the old times. The technology is far beyond your ken, at least for now. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's what I was thinking was going to happen. It looks like... So my mightiness is 16, it goes up to 45. That's what happens. The game is really difficult, and the game seems to be extremely self-aware of that. So once you've died three times, either the game either feels sorry for you, or it's part of its, you know, air quotes, plot, and you get this axe, which is going to wildly increase your attack power so you can actually win. Which kind of seems in line for the plot, because it's so strange. No idea. Either way, Hylix is bizarre, and um, if you liked it, I've got great news. The creator has been... This came out in 2015, and the creator has been working on Hylix 2 since, and it's actually almost done. Um, it should be out, I believe, in 2019, so... Good. <laughs> uh, this is only on Windows, um, since it's an RPG Maker game. Uh, you can get it on Steam. It's fairly inexpensive. Uh, maybe it looks like it was up your alley. I don't know. I, I, my advice would be to, as soon as you can, when you get the game, die three times so you have access to a, a stronger weapon. It's bizarre, and, you know, from what I said at the beginning, it still reigns true 20 minutes in. It makes me uncomfortable. I don't know if I would call it good or bad. Um, it, it's, it's a very strange piece of art, but it's so different than what you know, that it makes it actually very difficult to follow. Um, even knowing things like what's supposed to be foreground and background and what you can interact with, these are all things that we know from playing video games for years, and Hylix is unique in that it breaks that. It hurts your brain. And I like that about it, but it also makes it, in some ways, not a great game. It's really hard to explain. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week for another Stephen Plays First 20.